And tonight we'll look at meiosis and certain aspects of human reproduction. So I think we should just fall away with that. Yes, let's look at our first slide. There you can see it's a mouthful that we have to do tonight. Um, maybe you've received the program and you would have seen that puberty is also there and um, aftercare or, or parental care, but we will attend to puberty next week. Kom ons kyk dan nou as ons met my oose bezig is en wat my oose dan vir ons beteken. Right, belangrik, jy moet weet waarom dit belangrik is dat jy van my oose weet en waarom my oose in die hele voortplantingsproces belangrik is. There are three main reasons why my oose is a very important process. In the first case, and you will see that I've written all of them in English as well as Afrikaans. In the first instance, um, myosis decreases the chromosome number from diploid to haploid. In other words, what you can say there is that myosis is responsible for the production of gametes, or sex cells or reproduction, reproductive cells. It betekent ook dat die chromosome getal constant gehou word van generatie tot generatie. And during crossing over in prophase 1, myosis also ensures genetic variety. Dis my oose wat maak dat nie een van ons eenders lyk nie, behalwe miskien a identische tweeling. And just to go back to the chromosome number that remains constant, um, I hope you understand why it is important for that. Can you imagine if myosis should not take place, what would happen to the chromosome number from one generation to another? And that is why it's so important, otherwise there would not have been the existence of certain species, in, in fact, of no species. Ja, want as ons hier nou kyk, Karin, hier so is nou precies een verduideliking van wat jy nou net gesê het, die illustratie daarvan. Ja, um, as you see there, all somatic cells, die lichaamcelle, somatische cellen, they all contain, and there you have three different organisms. And so all and each and every organism has its own chromosome number. And we're referring here to the diploid number because the somatic cells contain the diploid number of chromosomes. And we as human, humans we have 46 chromosomes. And um, if we can go on to the next slide, you will see why is it that meiosis, or what happens is that meiosis reduces the diploid number to the haploid number. And uh, maybe that N up there shows that the N number is there at the neck region, which is not true there. But um, what is important is that you should know that sex cells, it halves the number of chromosomes from diploid to haploid. Kom ons kyk gauw op die papier wat ons daarmee bedoel. Goed, die mens het 46 chromosome. En dit beteken 23 van die pa, 23 van die ma. So we really have two sets of chromosomes that make up the 46. And the 23 is what we mean by N, and the 46 by 2N. Now, if let's say a 46 and a 46 should fuse, we would have a 92. And a 92 and a 92 then we would have 184, and I'm going to stop there because my maths is going to <laughs> leave me at some stage, but I think you can see the problem that we have. And that is why, before fertilization, before sexual reproduction, we need to get the diploid number to N, the haploid number. Met ander woorde, my oose moet plaasvind. En in my oose kry ons twee delings, waar één diploide cel op die ou einde vir ons vier cellen met die helfte van die oorspronkelijke getal chromosome kan gee. In other words, two divisions where we start with a diploid number, 46 chromosomes, the two sets, one from the father and one from the mother, so that in the end we have the haploid, which means the single set. Okay, and there you have an explanation, so let's just look. There is the mother cell, the original cell. And we're going to look at what the cells my oose undergaan. This is the original mother cell. This is the cell from a testis or a cell from an ovary. Then we will have DNA replication and a division and another division. My oose is one, my oose is two. 
so jy kan jy sien hoe oorspronkelijke moeder sal vir ons op die ou einde vier selle gee. Diploïd, haploïd. 